guys, welcome back to the channel. In Hi. today's video, we are talking about Cooper's brewing kit and we're actually going to brew some beer. But before we go any further, I shall introduce you to my other half, which you already Mr. met. Mr. Dan. Mr. Daniel, yes, you <laughs> have met him from me? this show. Yes. yes. And many of you said it was really nice to meet him. And because we kind of had a really fun video doing the video hmm. together at the Bushcraft Show, yeah, we enjoyed I that. thought I'd bring him into this one because the beer thing is kind of a his thing. Beer. Isn't it? Yes, yes, absolutely. So I'm on that note. I'm going to say cheers. Yes. Um, cheers. With the murky beer. water of a malt home malt beer that is two years old that he yes. absolutely mm -hmm. hates. But mm -hmm. we are talking about the Cooper's Brew. We this are is indeed. not a sponsored video. It's not sponsored. We love anyway. it anyway. So we we've had a, a Cooper's beer kit for many years. About and ten. Yeah, about, yeah. About ten years. Ten years. And uh, so we we've brewed a few beers in there. And we've not limited it to the Cooper's branded beers. We've used other beers, and, and obviously you've done the banana wine and, and, and so forth in there. Yeah. And, and they work really well. Um, but um, I wanted to get back into beer brewing, because obviously the, the, the cost that, you know, you think how much beer you drink, and it's just, well, I mean, how much not beer I drink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really drink. Don't yeah. drink as much as me or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's expensive. Everything's gone up. It's and everything's gone it? up. And, and I'm just thinking, do you know what? Let's... Yeah. Let's get back into yeah. um, having around beers. Because I'm doing this with wine already. I have yeah. like 300 yeah. bottles of normal wine, yes, as a mm -hmm. backup for these scenarios. Sorry, but how many? I think about 300. 300. Yeah, that's. Well, yes. um, yeah, anyway, a different story, <laughs> but I still choose to brew my own because well, I need to know how we do this and yes. I just love doing this anyway. Mm -hmm. Nothing can compete with a home brew. No, of course not. Of course not. So we, we decided um, we're going to get another um, beer kit. Because if you watch the channel, when I did the last brew, finally my little tab gave up on my favourite bucket. Yeah. And rather than um, yeah. buying another tab, because I'm like, it's only like five quid. Five pounds for a tab. It was five, under five pounds. See, again, pounds, it's yeah. not bad value. It's I not say at bad all. value. It's, not at it's all. a tab. But it's actually, it's quite a good tab. But because he, wanted, because he wanted to have the Survive. beers <laughs> as well, it kind of goes 68 pounds from the Coopers mm. directly. And it's like 120 quid on Amazon. People are mm. taking a freaking piss, to be yeah. fair. 68 pounds Unfair. with the beer, like considering it yields you 30, 750 ml bottles. So it works out like a two pound a bottle, for example, roughly, sorry, roughly. Uh, but don't forget, after you've done the first thing, the bucket is there. It's and, itself by that time. And the kit's there, yeah. you can buy, I think, Oh, you're looking about 20, 20 something pounds, 20, 22 quid for both, depending on the beer you choose. Yeah. We've got some, um, the another English matching, bitter and the other bits set. there. So 20 quid for 30, 30 bottles. That's yeah, pretty good. Then good. That, that's pretty good. So, so, so uh, okay. Um, so with the kit, right? So you get, tell um, them what comes with it. Let's swap round. We'll you can tell them what we'll comes with it. Yeah. So there's your box. Right, and it brews, it says it brews 23 litres yeah. of great tasting so beer. So you have 30 bottles of 750. And I concur. So, right, yeah. so with your bucket... Um, mind my shit wine, uh, not wine, shit beer. Poor this beer, right, beer. is two, two, two years, years because he couldn't stand it. This was from Wilkinson's. He couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand pouring this away. So no. I'm occasionally having a sip and then gag. Yeah. <laughs> and then the rest I get for cooking. Another sip, gag some more, <laughs> and then... Throw up eventually. No, no, <laughs> no, I keep it for cooking because it's actually okay. It's malty, but it's just it's, it's actually a bit um, dirty. You, you've, I think you've used it. Tap the water. Yes. It's pearl you've, you've used it already. I think you've actually done, done a um, pie. An, a, a pale mm. pale, <laughs> a beer and ale pie. pie yeah. Pale. Well, there's not an ale. Yeah. <laughs> um, so right, let's. No, we're not doing it. Yes, Lincoln Park. Don't or Lim Biscuit. Too much. Lim Biscuit describes yes. that water in a good words. Anyway. Oh, okay. Don't right. Dress. So, with your kit, what do you get? So you get. The lid. You get what we refer to as the scum collar, which is this section here. It does here. have the name, but yeah, and then also the main uh, body of your kit, and also you've got your denominations there for okay. liters. So it goes up to twenty-five liters. Um, and you get also your little port there for your tap. Now this is a good little tap, so it's got double it um, double gasket on there. It took and me ten years for it to give up. Ten it years. Did, it That's did, it pretty did, it goddamn good. But it's just the, you know. The, the rubber won't last forever. So, no. obviously, a fully open position, and then you can obviously... Oh, don't do that. But you can obviously then release control, as yeah. much as you want as and control it. And so, the that, obviously thing, pops, the best thing. that obviously pops into there. I'm not going to push it all the way in, but no, that goes in there. Yeah. So, the idea... So, you get your lid, and you get what we call the scum uh, collar. So, the scum collar is, will be removed once you have achieved your first fermentation process. So, you brew your beer... So obviously we're going to show you how, yeah. We'll show you how. So once you've eventually you've got it into your bucket, 
and it finishes its first fermentation process, you'll end up with a scum ring. Foam, yeah. Foam it looks a little bit like sewage stuff. around this mm. beach. When you go to the beach and you want to go in the swim in the sea and you have to step over the sewage. Because the council um, kindly dumped a lot of sewage Because they dump all the, the water, sewage yeah. into the sea. Mm, nice. nice. Yes, yes. Thank you, council. Lovely. I'm glad it's not the council, it's actually it's the water companies. Oh, right. But things like Welsh water and all those waters, they yeah. just dump I'm glad we're everything. Like 55 quid amounts and, and anyway. We're digressing again. Yeah. Anyway, so, right, so going back to scum thing. So you'll end up with a scum level. So what you'll do then is you'll remove the lid, take the scum out and then just put the lid back on. So you get rid of the collar, and that way you're not putting that scum back, back into in your it. beer. It just stops um, you doing the multiple It does, and, it, and it will help you create a, a much cleaner, crisper looking beer. Yeah. So anyway, that's the bucket. And so, this, the tap also, I forgot to mention, yes. the tap comes with this amazing, amazing invention. You put this in there, right? It's got the little um, teeth yeah. that's based on... So, sorry. That's okay. So obviously, yeah, once you put it into your, your tap, video. it is, once you put it into your tap, and then you obviously put that into your beer. So this is used for uh, actually filling up your bottles. So it goes in, fill it up. So once you put the bottle in, in its current form here, this won't leak. It might dribble, but it shouldn't leak. And then you have this. Nipple feeder a for nipple chickens. Feeder <laughs> for chickens. Um, and the way that it works is a little gasket in there. So once you push that up, that will actually open that valve beer can flow. Once it pushes, obviously the weight of the beer that's in the um, the tube will obviously push that down and in theory it shouldn't leak. But once you push it in and then you well, can fill your don't beer. Because we've been using no, them they don't, years, no. they? But once you push your beer and it will fill from the bottom of your bottle yeah. and not from the top. So if you obviously fill from the top, you'll end up getting too much foam and yeah. then air. you'll end up having to lose a lot of beer just air. to fill your bottle. Air, you put an air in there as well. No. So obviously doing it from the bottom alleviates all those things and you get a nice clean bottle and um, down goes our brolly outside yeah the wind anyway the brolly but we're digressing but so it's long enough as well to do the wine I use this for wine it's yeah, enough absolutely. to fill a short so, neck bottle again positives for this kit you get yeah. some great tell them what else um, this comes with and then we're getting with yes. brewing because you get some great stuff I will so we get away. while the, the child's away the parents will play we get brewing. a hydrometer was it not a hydrometer, not hydrometer. The, specific um, gravity specific gravity uh, device so <laughs> So you get the little little test tube Is side. Is it alcohol measure you, over yes, yes. So again, you it, we'll show you how this works when we do it. Yeah. So we'll run through the uh, denominations on there and, and, and how you would actually use that yeah. when we do it. Uh, with that, you get 30 bottles and 30 yeah. lids. And they've changed these now because they've all got the Cooper's branding on the top of the lid. They used nice. to be black, didn't they? They were just Again, plain. to buy like, replacement lids is like two, two pounds, yes. 99, I think, which is a yeah. bargain. Like, yeah, it absolutely. Is, we're talking about guys like... Everybody thinks that home brewing is so expensive, but it's not. But it's not. Once you it, have your kit, it doesn't have to be. It can be. Can and it doesn't have to be. You can this reuse. is a, a a kit. You your initial outlay. Once you've got it, that's it. All you do is you buy the two different kits, yep. or you can brew whatever you want in it. Yeah. However, like, you want. like we do. Oh, anyway. Absolutely. And you can use. And many many people asked, and some people say, oh, you can mm -hmm. use normal water bottles. A water bottles from a Sparkling water are mm. absolutely fine to use. They've already been used for pressure. They've been taken and pressurized water inside. You can reuse them with the lids. We've done this when we were skins and we did like multiple beers in a trot and mm. we have we're, used we're, the water. We're still skins. I know, but nobody has to know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so yes, you can do this, guys. So okay. don't don't feel like, oh my God, you use this once, you throw them away. Absolutely not. Yeah. Reuse your bottles if you have to. Yeah. And so you get um, mm. Mr. Spoon from Button Moon, mm -hmm. right? Nice long spoon, so that, that, that fits in there quite nice, so you can yeah. mix everything up. Uh, you get your carbonation drops, yep. so obviously with the kit you actually get a beer kit as well. Which is so, a lager you and, get. And that all comes in the, how much? 68 pounds. 68 pounds. At the moment. So you get your brewing kit with your all the, <clears throat> the goodies that you get, and then you get a kit of beer. Yeah. And, yeah. So... It doesn't come with that pre-stuck on, so we've got to stick this on. This is for the temperature, so you know what your beer Brew, yeah. um, is temperature at. And it does tell you that 24, which is what it's currently on at the yeah, minute, uh, but it will tell you on your, on your beer kit what the um, optimal, optimal temperature is when for brewing. But we'll so you'll that. need to maintain your beer brew in cycle within a certain temperature. And there's a perfect now because it's a heat wave out there and we don't need to put, we used to no, put a heat pad underneath. Oh, we do. Anyway, yeah. we need to um, We're again. work on again. So, Absolutely. right. Okay, so not only do you get your your beer kit, your <coughs> these bits, you get a little thing here for your um, brewer's log. So you can log your beer and 
and whatnot. And there's a little bit of information on there on how to use certain aspects like this, for example, and so forth. So, it's there for you. If, if you're scared to start, instructional it's so, videos. so, so, so easy. Ah, instructional so, so videos. Easy. Yeah. They'll show you how to do it. It yeah. is it, it's it's a simple, simple thing. It's a very simple and thing. And it's our job to make it simpler. It is. But, and but a bit pen. longer. Free pen as yeah, well. Yeah, for the book. For the book. Anyway, so yeah, this is all we have coming. Right. So this is kind of, we are, what are we, which brew are we so, brewing right, today? We are going to brew lager the or the kit English beer? that came with it. And the kit that came with this particular one is the lager. So you want to but brew the lager? I did buy um, this one. Now, you you mean brewed, I buy? Yes, she did. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, Anna bought... This one, which is the English bitter. By request of you. By request. Because this is one, I think, the original one that I ever purchased when I originally purchased the first one of these. Um, and I loved that. I thought it was really nice. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you, you, you okay? Yeah. Do you need something stronger? I just don't. Yeah, something mm, yes. stronger would be great. Okay. It's just... So, anyway. Cheap beer, cheap kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, obviously, you buy the a dollop because, again, you'll understand when I say dollop. When we do it, you'll see, ah, oh, dollop. And then you, you get the sugars. Yeah. So, and they call it a, um, what do they call it? Uh, enhancer. It's an enhancer. Enhancer. The yeah. brewing enhancer. You can mix as much, guys, if you really want to be particularly You can mix things up. You can mix you... things up. But yeah. again, it will, it'll be on the website. It will tell you which one is recommended for the type of beer that you buy. Yeah. And they've got loads of different ones. So the, the choice is endless. Well, it's but not endless, I am going to do the video. I'm going to buy a malt extract and make mm -hmm. my own freaking beer for you. Yes. Because I don't really mm. drink beer. Mm. Although if I make it taste nice. If it tastes nice, then absolutely you'll drink it. I will drink it. And in you fact, you'll probably drink it. I won't even get a chance. No. Anyway, so, um, we, moving on. So we are going to be moving on from this now. So what we're going to do next, uh, we're going to clean the buckets and we're going to clean them. And we purchased specifically the Coopers. Because I'm running um, out of my normal ones. And it was just because they were so much cheaper again than buying Yeah, we, we, we purchased the, was it Wins? WS something. I don't or WY double I don't know. or something. So, but basically, what it is, this is, it says it's a sanitizer. W but it, effectively, it's um, w like a bleach. It's a powder WVP, bleach. but it's, it's pretty it's much a powder out. bleach. Yeah. Um, but one thing I would obviously um, say is do follow the, the guidelines on the back for when you mix, so directions for use. We can cover this later because you, we're we dragging on. We're because, dragging on. Because um, when we originally, well, when we brewed this beer, which we brewed it from another, not Cooper's, but we used some other brand, didn't we? Yeah, Wilco's. Yeah. Wilco's. I think we used too much and it ruined yeah. the flavour of the beer, so I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, that's why so I'm gagging. Anyway, well, gagging. let's get stuff cleaned up. So we're going to clean up and let's so make beer. Which beer we're actually making? We're going to go with the, the lager. Are you sure? Yes, I think so. Okay. We're going Fine. with the lager because it's nice and summery. It's, yeah. you know, a lager's better than a summery. All that, nice cold lager. Yeah, it's going to still take like a good few weeks to do it, but yeah. Yeah, again, all that information will be on the actual lager And we're going to tell them. So we let's are. get brewing. cleaning and brewing. Yes. See you in a second. So guys, now back to the business. I do apologise for the long intro because we've done two and it was 50 minutes long and I said, it's because Mr. Daniel's joining us. He likes to chit chat a lot of rabbit. Um, so we thought we'd do, do this again and I'm not sure which one you get to choose, but it was actually 16 minutes longer. It so was 16 minutes longer. Unfortunately, that hasn't come up yes. any shorter. So we do apologise, but the mm. video is going to be called uh, Brewing and Chatting or something along those lines. Anyway, so... Hey, brewing and a chat. Yeah. Anyway, yes. so... Instructions here guys, first thing, so remove the label from the brew can and stand in it in hot water for 10 minutes or so. So uh, the brew label has a pre... A little tearing off. ...doofer to I've remove. got a champagne bucket here because obviously the depth um, you can use a saucepan, but um, I use this because it works really well for that. So open it up. So, and while the can is warming, we need to have dry ingredients and fermenting vessel and add two litres of hot water. So. Whilst we're doing this, I've got two litres of tap bottled water because we don't want to use the tap water. Promise no. you, we no. don't want to use that. So that's warming up. So let's put the um, same... So on, on the, when you pull the label off, it does actually give you the information on how to brew that beer. So it tells you about the mix, the brew, and yeah. then the bottling. So, so all the information up. is on there. Yeah. So lift the lid. And there's a yeast in there. Bosh. And we have... Yeast. Brewing sachet. yeast, a sachet of brewing yeast, that's seven grams yeah. of brewing yeast. So I don't we'll know if there's any specific... No, let's just something. get this, get the label off now. Get the, paper get the off, label off properly, and we're going to there. rip that off. Nice can, I like that. I'm going to keep that because I've seen people really? making the little rocket stoves, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And this is a good size. Mm. It is a good Up size. Up there for thinking. See? Up there for thinking, down there for Perfect dancing. Thinking. Right, don't do garbage aside. Right, goes in there for 10 minutes. No. Nah. Oh. 
What? You've got to take the lid off. Is it new, didn't it? Yes, you do. You take the lid off. Otherwise, you're going to heat it up. It's then going to expand and blow. So remove the label from the brew can and stand inverted in hot water for 10 minutes or so. Yes, but you have to take the lid off. Okay. Right. Tins opened. And guys, like... How much do you get to taste that? It's a marmite. This pretty much tastes like a marmite. Give me the idea. One day if I can brew beer with a marmite. Anyway, let's get this in, right? It's strangely quite nice. So. So, the idea is you drop it in water to warm it up. Melts so it a bit. kind of... Um, I'm going to put the lid down. Yeah. And if you want to reuse, which is a good point of Mr. Daniel, if you want to reuse the tin for a rocket stove, mm. use one of those... Cheap, nasty ones that don't work very well as opposed to the one that actually like, takes the lid off exactly. with its rounded section and, create, and leaves a very sharp razor yeah. blade. So that was a really good point, well, thank this you one very doesn't. much. So, yes. Thank you very much. So. There we go, so you're up there thinking. Yeah, so while this is sitting here, mm -hmm. the water is hot and the next step is, so we need to, and I'm just referring this just for pedantic point of view, uh, while the can is warming, so pour dry ingredients into a fermenting vessel, mm -hmm. add two litres of hot water and dissolve. So let's get a brewing bucket here and we shall start dissolving stuff. Let's do it. Right, so yes. we are on the next step. The bucket so, has been disinfected. Everything's been disinfected. The, the main bucket, the tap, we've stuck the uh, temperature uh, gauge on there. Uh, we've cleaned the scum part, scum doofer, and the lid. It's actually called... Everything's good to go. Krausen Yeah. Kraus, Krausen, Krausen, Krausen. Yeah. Anyway. Krausen Collar. I still didn't push words, so I didn't did. fuck up the pronunciation because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's do it. So we've got hot water. Yep. For to now dissolve the dry ah. ingredients into that. Yes. And then we have our bucket, little pot, and we've got inside there is our malt. That's all that. Yes. So that's in there. So you obviously cut the lid off, blah blah blah. And let's we go. do it. So let's do it. And we have our yeast extract. So it's this not is the yeast. It is a well, whatever. That's the yeast. Yeah. Uh, this is the brewing in house. Basically, sugars. it's the sugars. Yeah. So, so, the number three test is the, no, number two, sorry. While the can is warming, pour dry ingredients into vessel and add two litres of hot water. Boom. Now let me turn this off. So, I shall use my knife from the Bushcraft show. Someone who's slurring probably shouldn't be using a knife. No. But we'd be careful um, because. I like it how suddenly we've been in the show. Suddenly, we, rather than the scissors, we, we just pull up a knife because we, we have a knife. We, we have many knives, but for some reason we just need to use the one we just bought. Yes. And, to be fair, it's a very sharp knife. For well, not a, a lot of money. very, very sharp knife. Right. Okay. Let's do it. So let's, as um, safety conscious we are, we'll put that back in there. <laughs> right. And, just a quick note, do make sure your tap is closed. If I you can, tell them If you before. can do that, your tap's closed. If it's like that, that's open. Obviously. Okay. Right, let's do it. Come on, Not let's sure chat you have suck eggs, so let's pour do that it. in. He likes to chit chat. This is why I'm not allowed. Oh, yes. He's not allowed on my channel very often. No. Mm, I don't know that. And uh, we have an earwigger. We know that. Yes. People say, why do you have her? You know, somebody listens to you. Well, because she makes my life freaking easier. A little bit easier. Yeah. Even though they're earwig. Uh, We've got nothing to hide, so no. what's it matter? I think if you, you know, one of the people that has something to hide, then obviously then it's a problem. Yeah. But we don't. So that's fine. Right, there we go, that'll do. So now we got two litres of hot water from the bottle, right? So, so Anna is going to pull that in very carefully. Yeah, don't get your face away from me in case it splatters. If you safety want... first, we're high, um, sorry, a high vis, your safety goggles and a hard hat. Shut up and mix, bitch. And mix. <gasps> do it. Okay, so whilst you're mixing in, so the next thing will be to add on the contents of the brewing can to other ingredients and mix thoroughly and add water to 20 litre mark. Stir and check the brew temperature. So, so first of all, we're just going to make sure because this has kind of clumped up a little bit. So we'll just make sure we get rid of them clumps. So it's all um, diluted. Once you add on water, it's going to do that. Once That's it's fully diluted, um, I will be then happy to pour in the uh, salt, nope. the extract jolly dollop. Oh, I said dollop, didn't I? And you'll see why we call it dollop or jollop. Oh, I can see or why we need to other. stop talking when we do yes. it. Yes. <laughs> it's been a good bloody idea. Right, okay, I think we're. Um, let's do a few little mini lumps. That's in fine, there, they're mixing. They'll go, they'll mix. It's sugars, so the yeah. thing itself will obviously okay. consume itself. Dollop or jollop? Right. 
be careful, we'll just prise the lid back slightly because it the water will be warm. So generally the malt extract that I'm looking to buy for my next brewing um exp not expedition. Um it's they, they come in like five litre five litre like do. a vinegar bottle. So it's much easier than funneling around with a glass jar. Yeah, so it's a yeah. bit warm, but yeah. let's do it. Pour. Way look at the nectar. Oh, the amber goodness. nectar. That's oh, good. Goodness. And we'll just leave that to um I can slush it with some cold water in a minute anyway, can't we? get some yeah. out. Keep mixing, Dad. Let it come out first. Be very careful with the, because uh, they're very sharp. And we'll just mix that Why in. Why don't you wear high vis while you do it? <laughs> well, that's what I say. You should wear steel toe caps, a high vis, um, a hard hat, a full face shield, uh, maybe some... Um, right, stop talking and mix. Come on. Let's gloves. do it. Let's do it. And, and, and that will conform you to the ECJ blur, 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 blur. Well, it's to be conformed that my glass is empty and I need the drink because I couldn't stomach the other one. Right, let's just try and get as much out as we can using this scoop. That is a nice tin. I'm like, uh, we are so going to make like a mini rocket stove. We just need to have... Because you need to have a bigger and a smaller one, right? There's loads of videos online, so we're going to yeah. do it. Waste not, want not. Well, that's right. And a gilded. I'd like it to gilded as well. Okay, mother. Would you care to right. um, dilute the remains of that? Oh, so yeah. I don't know what the temperature is reading at on that at the moment. So let's... Um, oh. Quite high. So the... I say quite high. It's about 34 there, wasn't it? What are we meant to be? I just feel like I myself. What are, oh. And I said an F word. But you know it already anyway. See? See, this is why health and safety is as strong as it is. Mm -hmm. Right, let's do it. Stop talking. To comply to health and safety regulations. He's talked. Let's put some in there. I was going to put a tiny bit in there. But it's not really going to mix in because it's water and like sugar. Cold it's water. Not really going to dissolve, no, yeah. so it's just... That's fine. That's okay. That'll do. It's whatever. Right. Uh, right. So just to clarify, the um, particular brew needs to brew at a certain temperature. So we need to make sure we maintain that temperature throughout this entire brew. So, mother, what is... The temperature for this brew. It needs to be 21 to 27. So we need to dilute Between this 21 and 27. with the cold or hot water to get us to 21 to 27. And we obviously add hot water if, if you required. need. If required. But it's hot out here anyway. It's 20 something degrees. So that'd be absolutely fine. Do I do it? Feel like I'm mixing. No, that's mixing itself. You saw me fun mm -hmm. doing this in my other video. I did the little tornadoes, but then the, um, the vacuum sucked out the bottle. Whee! Quick tip, spin your bottle, and it will come out like I did that once um, before, and then it literally like ruined my bottle. And I was really upset, because yes, I really well, wanted the bottle. This is the bottle, this is why we buy the big ones, because we can reuse them reuse for them. Uh, water shortages, although this water is and a proper water. Because we actually used some of those when we went to the bushcraft. We did we? indeed. They're amazing. Mm. They're worth the money. They went up in price, right? The Asda is now 140, which is taking them. Mickey Michael, but the Asda are the first to lead. So, yeah, we need to get to 23 litre mark, yeah, which is... Quite... Yeah, see, that quite happens. Work out. This <laughs> is... Oh, yeah, that's Tesco's. Yeah, yeah mine did the same. Yeah. Oh. Nah. yeah. Let's recover that. We will. We won't ruin it. Sorry. So this is, again, another reason why I don't go on camera. I ruin everything. That nice brew. Got a nice little kind of... Sewagey foam on top. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Keep stirring, 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 keep stirring. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm into Limp Bizkit, not so into Limp Bizkit. I suddenly had the blast in the past. You have not listened to that this for is, many, many years. I've listened to this this morning. Did this is why it? actually my um, passion for the F word and a lot of other words that are of unkind nature come from my passion for Limp Bizkit and Linkin Park and Eminem when I was younger. No, I didn't watch, didn't listen to the boy bands, no. I was a girly girl, but yeah, no, still um, still prefer my hardcore music. Right. So we have actually got, right, a total of 20 litres on the phone. So three litres to go. And get. the bat phone is going off, so I need to answer that. Yes, go. Right, guys. Okay, so um, we are now on just under, we're 19 litres or whatever they're about. It's below 20. Oh, it's below 20. We need yeah, to get it to 23. It's subsized a little bit. So, so 23 litres, was it? Yeah, up to 23 okay. litres. So, so let's do it. So you pour. I'll do it. You do it. And, you and can gracefully. clock gracefully. Because I don't do graceful. Un oh, ungraceful. Yeah, sorry. I know it's more graceful than you. Yeah, it's far more graceful. Here we go. 
Three, 23 litres? Yeah. Ooh. Come close to those, I can split yourself in the eye. Yeah. You already spilled water from the tap and the beer on himself. We've been a wreck bloody slow. Oh, do you know what? What a mess. I, I cleaned all this out and then as I, I put the tap on, because we've got one on the swing and a, you know, okay. wave it in the air. 23. Soak myself all over the floor. Right, so we right. need the scum collar. And then scum collar. Scum bag on tap for the scum collar. Yeah, so we are at, guys, what's the temperature? We're in 20, between 24 and 26, which is really good. Yeah. So as I said, because it's so warm up here, we don't need to worry. No. So... Let's give that a mix up. And give all we have mix. to do and then is sprinkle the yeast on top. You literally, yeah, you literally sprinkle it. So we'll just cut a little, little hole in there. And uh, that's it then, isn't it? Yeah, we just need to draw the gravity. Do, draw the yes. gravity so in once, it. obviously, we've sprinkled that on. <clears throat> Let's sprinkle on. Um, yeah, we'll check the gravity level. We'll make a note of that. With obviously, the... date as well. Follow yeah. the uh, thing on there. Yep. Yeah. And we'll go with that. Yep. Yeah. So... Hot knife through butter. And listen, after three days, when it's um, been fermented, remove the curtain collar and... Um, Scum ring. And let it sit. So, literally sprinkling it on as if you're sprinkling... Yeah. Ah, do you want to take the spoon out? Yeah. That might be a good, be a good, good start. It doesn't actually say it doesn't actually need to stir. You don't need to stir it. You normally no, just sprinkle it on the top. No, once you sprinkle it on, I remember that from the previous yeah. times that we've done it. You literally just sprinkle it on and walk away. Yeah. The thing about this, so we're doing the lager, right? I'm going to grab a pen um, for the thing. Yeah, absolutely. So the lager, I always, I remember because we had done that one before. Um, the uh, it actually smells like eggs when you're brewing. Well, I can't remember it smelling like eggs. No. Yeah, it did. Yeah, we will. Obviously, you'll confirm that. But yeah. yes, it um, smells like eggs. Yeah. Okay. So right. It's not horrible. Sprinkled. So now let's, it says that we first. need to draw a tiny bit out first, and then we then draw enough to fill. So. We're just going to do a tiny bit, I know you guys can't see it, but we just need to take a tiny bit out Little for a second. And then it says you'll take then enough to fill the hydrometer. And then we'll take, the date, the date is today is... These do come apart, so for cleaning. Yes, what date is it? It's the 9th, 9th. Today, I think. Okay, so... So I'm going to take a bit. Uh, too much. Or not? Are we going with that much? Okay. okay. So let's wash that on there. Let's move that away. Too much, no. No, no, it's no, fine. It's okay. Drop it in. Don't throw it in. Obviously, like no, it's just done. So your initial reading. Shake it up. Shake, shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Once it's found its natural uh, balance, um, we are going to is. read what that is. So with these. So the first reading on this point nine nine zero. So then one. So it's point zero one. So one dot zero one dot zero two dot zero three. So I'm going to say that is dot zero three five. One dot zero three five. One dot zero three five. Okay, which is about an average. When I make the wines, the standard um, gravity, original mm. gravity, is yeah. about one one yeah. dot one zero zero. So, so it's kind of okay. Let's get the lid on. So yes, we'll come back and we'll tell them on the next episode, on the next part of the video, when it yeah. needs to be done. All we're going to do, guys, in three days' time, we're going to remove the collar and let it sit there for a few weeks. And then you have to test the gravities, but we'll cover that. Yeah, we'll do. Anna obviously won't be in it, but Anna will show you the um, how it appears, how it looks around yeah. that scum ring and, and what happens with Before that. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll just post that in maybe at the end of this bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so we're well, going to move this now to a warmer location and we're going to leave it there. Any warmer, it'll be boiling. Really? <laughs> anyway, yes, guys, anyway, so we shall see you in three days when I'm going to show you what's happened to our beer. Yes. This is what it looks like on a day three. You can see a little bit of scam on the edges. Uh, it kind of smells really, really yummy. I have taken some out to try it. Um, it tastes like beer, but it's still clearly fermenting. So we're going to put the lid on and we're going to start measuring gravity every day until it's stable. We're back. We are. It has been. It's been a week, isn't it? No, 10 oh, days. 10, 10 days. days. Yeah, we did this on the 9th, day's 19th. Mm -hmm. So 10 days. The beer actually was ready about a couple of days back. but yeah. due, to due to work commitments, yeah. we couldn't do anything. So the idea was, guys, we'd be measuring the... Um, the gravity. gravity for the three days in a row, make sure the gravity was stable, and it was. Surprisingly... So the original gravity was 1.035 on the bar. 
And, and the final was 1.1. So doing zero, zero. the maths on that one, it works out to be about 8.5%. Which it sounds so a bit odd. It's quite a strong lager, isn't it? If that is it genuinely is. what it is. I have tried it, guys, right? I have tried it. It's lovely. It's really flavoursome, really fragrant. Obviously, we've had this one before. Yeah. I, I can't taste 8.5%, eight, but I'm so used to drinking one, but which is normally 14, so... So know. anyway, they'll see the next process is that we obviously get them in the bottles. We're going to use yeah. the um, device, so you've got the little yeah, teat thing. Yeah, which we showed before. Um, and the reason we didn't have the beer here, guys, because it's, it's in, in the utility, utility yeah. and well, that's the functional kitchen. Yeah. yeah. It's the reason is because, guys, we thought oh, <laughs> we're going to bring in here and film you how to do this. However, uh, because of the sediment at the bottom, and it's a massive, uh, massive bottle, not bottle, massive container. If we bring in here, it brings the sediment up. So when we come to bottle it, we don't really want any crap in the no, bottle. Well, we want to keep it so. as uh, clear as possible. Yeah. So I will pop in there and I show you my uh, second tar. kitchen. That's where the shit from the kitchen lives. Yeah. <laughs> so we show you what the beer looks like. Yes. So but anyway, but obviously yeah. um, all the bottles and your lids. Uh, we've used the Cooper sanitizer to make sure they're all clean and, yeah. uh, and nice. I forgot to do them, so I have to do this in Gotta a do minute. Those. But I did the bottles last night, and when you leave them to dry, make sure you cover with the kitchen towel in case, like, fly shit Sediments in it or something. Or, yeah. Well, fly my shit in it, and then fly yeah, fly around, don't yeah, they? But not, anyway, so make sure it's not. covered up. So. Um, and obviously for the lager, because it, we want it nice and fizzy, we're going to use two of the carbonation drops from Cooper's as well. So they'll go in the bottle. Yeah. Just before you cap it up. And we'll show you um, how that works. Hopefully. Yes. It's such a limited space out there, guys, because it's literally ramo with stuff and equipment and things. So I'm yeah. going to be like this. Crammed in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So without further ado, I'm going to get this washed and I will see you in the utility in a minute. So guys, as you can see, we're in utility. This is where a lot of magic happens. As you can see, I have a few breweries thingies going on here and it's generally a lot going on, hence it's quite cramped. So um, the reason we're filming it here, guys, is we mentioned earlier, because of the sediment in the bottom of the container, you can't quite see it there because of the shape of the container. However, it's there. So if we moved it to the kitchen, it's gonna disturb it and he really doesn't want a cloudy beer. So as simple as it is, guys, I've inserted the little pipette thing into the tap I've put the tap on, turned it on, sorry, and as you can see, the pipette holds the beer inside it. So I have my disinfected 750 milliliter bottle. I have my two Camden tablets ready. So we need two tablets per 700, 750 milliliter bottle. Camden tablets are literally just pretty much a sugar tablet. And I have my disinfected lid. So just to let you guys know, I haven't put it down in here. But it's a good idea to put the towel on the floor because it will be dribbling in between this, um, in between you pouring the bottles, especially if we try to do this both of you as quick as possible. So I haven't done this, but we'll do this later on. So show you how that works, right? It goes in there. As soon as we touch it, you probably felt it, and close up the bottle. Hopefully, you can see that. And this is the beauty of those buckets and that's why I use them for wine because I can use that to fill up my wine bottles too they are amazing we do need to leave a little bit of the space there so if we go with approximately here so that should be enough oh I can happily drink that right now so we'll put our little tablet in Ooh. splat splat okay and we put the lid And there we had it. So let's see you back in the kitchen. So guys, as you can see, we have finished. We have 29 bottles out of 30. As I'm um, thinking about it, it is a little bit of a shame. It happens every time, okay? And I think because I supply you a 30 bottle kit, you think they would tell you to add on an extra litre for the waste because obviously we have to do the gravity test like multiples of times and you do need about 150, 200 mils to kind of do this properly. So you kind of waste a little bit. So nonetheless, 29 bottles at 750 mil, which is absolutely amazing. He can't wait to drink it. He already tried a little bit and it does taste really nice. I'm not really a beer person, to me it tastes a little bit bitter, but he said it's absolutely lovely. So the next step of this, guys, is for it to sit for seven days above 18 degrees, okay? Thereafter, you can put this in the fridge and you can start drinking in 14 days. So that's what we're going to do. So we shall see you guys in 14 days. Okay, so here, here we are. Mm, beer time. Yeah, the time has passed. The beer. minimum amount of time of requested amount of time have passed, right? Yeah, it's what, how many days? 
total? Well, it's been pushing two weeks. So they said it was okay. seven... 14 days then. Yeah, seven seven days to keep it in one place and then seven they're up and it goes in the fridge. Uh, it, it didn't actually spend seven days in the fridge. No, 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 no. Anyway, nonetheless, it's minimum amount has passed. Maximum. Minimum. God, get this right, woman. Anyway, so it's beer yes, time. Yes, woman. It is. It's the, the best thing of brewing your own is that moment when you get to open and try it. And you either can be really disappointed or really happy. So what do you reckon it's going to be? Well, it's a bit crisp off my face. <laughs> anyway, so this is a lager, if you remember. It's a lager. Lager? La meant to be 8.5%. So it looks, I mean, it's in them brown bottles, but it looks quite clear, doesn't it? It is a little clear. And it is frosty because it's been in the fridge. There's obviously. a little bit of sediment on the bottom, but that's normally from the second fermentation, so which happens yeah. inside the bottle. But anyway, let's, let's crack this son of a Let's see. Gun open. I normally don't particularly like beer, or I like a citrusy beers at the moment. Don't be flat. Okay, that's fizzy. Nice and golden. Not not a lot of head on that, but okay. Maybe the longer it'll sit there. Maybe. We used to have actually, what did this before? That doesn't look too normally. bad. It wasn't overly fizzy though, was it? Anyway, cheers. It smells nice. What oh, about yeah. your 4Y? My goodness, selfish man. Excuse me? Well, I can't. <laughs> Hold on a minute. That does look quite um, this is it? clear, isn't it? Mm. Hold on a minute. Right, mm. so here we are. Mine is a bit cloudy because of the bottom. Almost just because it's now. Oh, it smells good. I know it does. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. Mm. It's good. It is fizzy. It is mm. fizzy, obviously, as you can see. And um, I, I can't really comment a lot on this. It's quite, um, quite a fine fizz. Mm. I wonder, because it's actually it's been a while since we used the Cooper's kit. It's been yeah, actually quite a few been years. Some, we normally do in the fact, other ones. I think the last time we've done it was when we done it in the old house. One of the black kitchen that you see on the videos. We didn't film. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't film this, no. but that's like donkeys. Anyway, as I don't know much about beer, why don't you tell them what the, um, the taste profiles are? Beer. <laughs> it tastes like beer mm. um and it's um so let's just go into detail so it's quite a nice beer it's a lager <laughs> it's fizzy it's cold and um you can drink it and you're thirsty yeah <laughs> cheers mm. so comparing it guys right um if you said it's actually very quite nice so the price was so, guys, oh, if hold you, on. Actually, so if if just as a comparison. Yeah, that's what I mean. So compare it to something. If you buy some Heineken Schmeineken, yes, it's crystal clear because they spend millions this is of pounds on clear their. Too. Yeah, not quite. They spend millions of pounds on their distilleries and yeah. you know all that cos wallet. Whereas we just spent. We call it four weeks. Sixty maximum. quid. Four weeks. Yeah. Um, we've got how many bottles? 30 bottles, but don't 30 forget, bottles. the point is, there was a kit, right? So if you, after you have in the kit, you pay uh, about uh, 15 pounds for your yeah, beer thing and 10 pounds for that. So mm. 25 pounds, 20 to 25 pounds, depending on the beer, for 3,750 mm. milliliter bottles. So after a little while, it does work out much, much cheaper, isn't it? It does. So. Yeah, we do have sediment. Yeah. It's not, um, I mean, if we... Uh, it's good work. I don't know, we just... Yeah, but that's how that's normal, guys. For the home it brewers is, and stuff, that's, it's just that's what kind it is. of the it's very milky now. Yeah, but, but that's, that's fine. That's the normal thing. That's why we do the second fermentation. But hopefully, it all the more it sits, they managed to get better with age the anyway. Bottom, which it didn't. It's come out nice yeah. and clear, isn't it? Yeah. So, so as a as a review, then for for that kind of beer, we strongly suggest. I said I don't particularly drink beer, but um, to save money, guys, is a whatever else. And if you just getting into the brewing. It's a perfect opportunity. Just, it's so simple. You just oh. cannot go wrong. No. They give you step by step. Oh, question is there? Do you reckon it's eight and a half percent? No. No, I don't think it's eight and a half. I, I reckon it's more sort of like six and a half. Six, six oh, and a half percent. No. No more. No, about three and a half. No. Three and a half, four. It's not. I reckon. Okay. Anyway. Because it's got no real. Um, alcohol yeah, it's but more sort of like you're drinking your fosters if i'm going to be scraping it off the pool table or something later <laughs> like, uh, it we'll was definitely eight and a half percent give you an update on that one yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway mm. 
So it goes. Oh yeah. So as the experiment, not experiment, but mm. thinking for you to say, if you want to get in there, this is the perfect way to start brewing. If you followed the channel for my brewing things, you know I brew a lot. If you haven't been following my channel for the brewing sake, do I do a lot of experiments, a lot of brewing, a lot of wines, um, not beers, but a lot of wines. If you followed the channel for uh, different reasons, obviously we cover at um, grat gratitude. We cover a lot of things on the channel, the whole thing about preparedness and obviously drinking beer and making beer. Anyway, so we're going to stop talking now. We're going to crack open a second beer. Well, I think for educational purposes... Are you going to open the Heineken Schmeineken? No. Oh, what then? What are you going to do for educational purposes? People are waiting. Tell them, tell them. We've got to open another one and just make sure it's the same. Oh, okay. Let's do that. And I can have a first pour so I don't get the cloudy one. Ah. Ah. Got an F. So that was the first one. The first one from the um, the pour. Oh, because he thought it might be cloudier. Yeah. But I wouldn't imagine because sediment was far lower than that anyway. Can I have a first pour, please? I like get like poor men's drags, don't I? The dregs. Well, yeah. See, when it's when we're opening a glass of wine, that's the other way around. Pour the wine. Here we yeah. Go. Well, I'm just going to leave the last little drop in there. Yeah. But again, so the very first one. It's clear. It's, it's a fine. nice golden colour, isn't it? I know. It's nice. I hate it when it's we do just, this. I'm um, sorry, guys. Like, we're just about to end the video and then somebody put a span in the works and then we're continuing with the video. <laughs> it's just as nice as the, the first one we just had. Mm. So. Yeah. I am going to, guys, as I said um, before, I'm going to make an experiment because I like, I'm weird. I like, if I drink a beer, I like. Um, Citrus beers, and he hates mm. citrus beers. It's not beer. So we'll be making an experiment with um, malted. Mm. Um, I buy a malt, and I'll make my own beer. Not from the kid, but I will try to make it to my taste, because I do like occasional beer rather than cider. Oh, yeah, of but course. Um, just going back to the, the alcohol content, because um, I've just... Well, see, we've demolished the first bit. Now he thinks it's 8%. <laughs> no, no, I, I do think now it might be a little bit higher than what I just said, yes, the 3 I and half, think 4. So. Maybe do you it's feel more, like it's suddenly going to be like... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's more sort of 5, I don't know, 5, 5.5 maybe. Okay, finish the pipe, he'll tell you it's going to be 8.5%, just like the hydrometer said. <laughs> if I fall off the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Anyway, guys, well, thank mm. you for watching. As I did say, this video was about, about chit-chatty and the brewery, so if you do like it, subscribe. Thumbs up, um, and we shall see you on either next brewing video if you're just watching us for brewing, or on the other videos if you're just watching me for channel sake. On my thing, tune in live on a Friday. Oh yes, or tune in live on a Friday, and <coughs> the video might not go up by then. No. Anyway, tune live e every Friday is a live stream. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we're talking about you answering are. questions, so we're chatting. Yeah. Anyway, let's stop talking and drink beer. Cheers, Cheers. guys. <laughs>